The Nun movie is very classic gothic horror with Conjuring 2. She's like her own star. Go. And really resonated with people because from a Catholic standpoint, the idea of something that you hold really sacred could be perverted like that is what gives it the strength that it has. I've been a fan of James Wan's work since Saw and uh, his other movies. And when I saw The Conjuring, I could tell he was coming from a place of love and respect of classic horror. One thing I love about the Conjuring universe is these elevated horror stories told with grounded connections. The humans, the feeling of a real human and, and watching these characters and responding to what they go through. What I love about The Nun is that it's obviously in the same world, so it's a similar vibe to that, but it's its own thing. Nuns, they have this sort of shroud of mystery to them already. To me, they seem to be the ones with the answers, and I find that to be really compelling. <laughs> I think people are so afraid of religious figures because they instill fear in people. You better be good, you better do this, because I'm closer to the Holy One than you are, and I'm going to deem you down into hell. I saw The Conjuring 2, and like a lot of the audiences, I reacted to the character of the nun instantly a kind of scary, stylish, visual horror, that's a good word, icon. And in a way, the nun is the original hoodie horror in that you can't see the face, it's shrouded in darkness. You're gonna be looking down so we can't see your face for this shot. And three, two, one, grab! The shape of it is almost like a shark fin. I wanted to almost imitate that with the idea that our demonic nun is lurking amongst the shadows of an abbey amid other nuns. You know, if you look at the back of a nun, you don't know what she's going to look like when she turns around. Turn. Pause. Irie! You don't know what makes them tick, so anything could make them tick. Added to the fact that they live in these like beautiful old abbeys that are terrifying because there's constant creeks and corridors that lead to nowhere. And it's secluded and anything that I think is secluded and private has the potential for fear. So it's already built in to the horror mechanisms, the idea of who is the nun behind that hood. It's been a long time since we've had somebody who can just stand in one place and evoke all sorts of tension and fear, just really unsettle you. I referenced Nightmare on Elm Street, and when Robert Englund was cast as Freddy, he really made that character instantly his own, and you couldn't imagine anyone else playing him. And I felt the same after seeing The Conjuring 2 and, and seeing this nun character. I said, who was that? Turns out it's Bonnie Ahrens. The moment we saw Bonnie, with the unique geography of her face, Everybody said, this is exactly who we want. This is who it has to be. And James, working very closely with Eleanor, our makeup artist, created the look. Bonnie just really stands out. You just see this lone, lone face in the darkness. And when Corn came on, both he and James actually wanted to make her more realistic looking. So not white, but pale. A lot more veins, blue veins, red veins, just gradations of grays. Of course, she kept her amazing eyes. You can just have her walk into frame, stand there, look at you, and then walk out. It's a small movement, but it becomes a big moment. She's so powerful, and she got those big eyes, and she's so scary. The fact that that character has created so much impact is because of her, you know, because she brought up to life. I don't like the dark. I don't like being alone. So I tried my best at night to not let myself think of Bonnie's face flying at me with her wild eyes and her demonic teeth. It was hard. And this is what also I think is so very effective in this film. It's a real person, not a puppet or a CGI. You can see my face. You can feel my emotion. I think one of the reasons Bonnie's character, this demon nun, has become so popular is because it's a contradiction. It's something so pure and so holy. And then it turns around and you see its face, and it's the exact opposite. It's this dark, evil demon. Yo. We're fascinated with horror and uh, with this type of things because we know there's something of us inside. But some people can't control their own demons and that's when tragedies happen. And one, and two, and three. I think one of the things that makes that so terrifying 
is because to think that someone so devout could be overcome and overrun with this evil, it means anybody can. <laughs> <laughs>